Hey guys, how we all doing? The weather is getting hotter every day, which sadly means my least favorite season is upon us. The Japanese summers are just way too hot. Well, I guess there's nothing much we can do about that, but since July is coming up really soon, I figured it's a good time to take a look at a few of the games that'll be out within the month. Alright, let's just get right into it. Here are a few games from the Japanese release schedule that'll be out within the next four weeks. Fans of visual novels might be excited to know that Nekopara is getting a home console release on July 4th. Of course, none of the saucy content will be available in these versions. You'll still need to play it on PC for that. But if you're actually legitimately only playing it for the story, then maybe these versions are for you. Both Danganronpa and Zero Escape are up there on my personal favorite video game stories, so I'm more than ready for insane plot twists when Spike Chunsoft releases their newest game on July 5th. Zanki Zero has some of the same minds behind Danganronpa working on it, so yes, sign me up. Shining Resonance Refrain has been out on PS4 for a couple months now in Japan, but what if you just really wanted to play it on and not the PS4? Well, you'll be able to do that pretty soon. The Switch and the PC versions of the game come out on July 12th, which is almost the same time as the game's Western release. If you're into JRPGs, you'll also be pretty excited to know that just one day later, you can also pick up Octopath Traveler. Releasing exclusively on the Switch, Octopath Traveler is pretty much how I want any old-school RPG to look like. Like, I want Square to just try to remake an older Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger in this visual style. I'd be all over that. Not a JRPG fan? No problem. Also releasing on July 13th is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the 3DS and Switch. If you missed the Wii U version and you're still curious about this game, well, now you can play it on the Switch. Sometimes there are games that I didn't know that I wanted on PC or home console, but then a port gets released and I'm like, absolutely yes please. And Groove Coaster is one of them. If you've never played Groove Coaster, it's a pretty easy to pick up rhythm game that actually started as a mobile game and then somehow ended up like in Japanese arcades where it got way bigger. And now you'll be able to play it on PC on the 17th. The initial track list uh, doesn't look quite as strong as the current arcade version, but I'm sure that can be fixed with some DLC and some money. Sonic Mania was pretty well received when it came out last year, and I thought it was pretty good. It really just felt like an old Sonic game that we just never got. If you really enjoyed it or you haven't checked it out yet, you might be interested in Sonic Mania Plus when it launches on July 19th. And while we're on the topic of old school games, Mega Man X Anniversary Collections 1 and 2 will be both launching on July 26th. For like, every platform. Whether you're a fan of old school platformers or you've heard a lot about Mega Man X games but you just never played them, the Anniversary Collections might be a good place to start for some of the finest Mega Man games. On the same day, we're also getting Disgaea Refine. Disgaea feels like a niche game that eventually just got big enough to kind of break out of that niche. The series has been going on for quite some time now, so if you think you want to jump in here, or you're just feeling nostalgic, Refine might be worth a look since it's a remake of the first game. And that's pretty much it for now. Again, it's a pretty good month for Switch owners, so that's good to see if you're like me and you take your Switch to work sometimes. Which games are you looking forward to? Anything I didn't cover but you think I should have, uh, let me know down in the comments, and you can also follow me on Twitter for occasional updates if you'd like. You'll find a link to my profile down in the description. And hey, since you're still watching this, why not head on over to the channel page and find another video to watch. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Take care.